Ivan Ivanov here from Crash Car Channel. It gives me great pleasure to give you my first review of a car. Hopefully you will be nice, not like in other um, videos uh, which are not car crash compilation when you give me, uh, let's say, a hard time. Uh, without further ado, let's go start it. A classic Mercedes key. Turn the key. This is the new Mercedes Vito with a manual gearbox. The fuel consumption is quite nice being such a big car. Uh, oh, this is a small engine. It probably would be nice if it had a, a bigger capacity engine, but uh, it's okay for cruising. The gorgeous steering wheel, it has a very very nice sensitivity to it, a very nice feeling with this perforated leather. Obviously you have uh, steering wheel mounting controls for your phone, for your volume controls. That will be the steering wheel, but I can say the same nice thing about the rest of the plastic in this car. It feels very, very cheap. Here you have the climate control. And the navigation system, which also has a rear camera. But the rear camera is facing very, very down, so you pretty much just looking at the let's say two or three meters uh, behind the, the car which is not a very nice uh, thing if you're backing on an alley or something the lever for pulling back the seat is not on the middle as you would expect it it's a very uncomfortable place right under your right foot and another weird quirk about the interior is that there are four pedals Yes, that's right. The accelerator, the brake, the clutch, and this pedal is the handbrake. It's a little bit weird until you get used to it because to release the handbrake you have here. But Mercedes likes to put those things inside. Space is pretty big. You have railings for the seat all the way back in the trunk. But one annoying thing is this lever. No matter how hard you pull it, the trunk won't close with one hand. Left mounted buttons, you can find various uh, information about fuel consumption, your classic dash computer, as you see an average from reset 500 kilometers with a fuel consumption of almost 8 liters and an average speed of 47 kilometers an hour. The hazards sorry about this bad focusing i promise i will get a better camera uh, traction control system electric windows which has a, uh, these buttons have a very very nice feeling heated seats locking or unlocking the doors Okay guys, this would be my uh, my forceless short review, I'm still learning, uh, it's not easy <laughs> to do reviews, I'm quite nervous, 
uh, doing compilations is uh, it's easier than this but yeah I will promise I will get better uh, yeah thanks for watching hope you learned something today and uh, see you soon have a great day my friends